Hi there, this is Will McAdam, co-founder and president of Privacy Duck, and welcome to our continuing series of how to opt out your own personal information from the variety of people's search sites on the internet. We are big privacy advocates doing both paid and free opt-out resource information. Um, and in this video, we're going to focus on mylife.com, which is a perennial favorite of uh, everyone who has been trying to keep information off the internet here. And let's review really quick by um, just going to my life and finding out what it shows here about you, not that website. There we go. And so basically you'll find out if you have a profile in my life, usually through your Google search results or just by going to mylife.com. And for this example, we'll use a John Smith in West Hollywood, California. Let's see if that pulls up anything. Cool, we got a John W. Smith 93 in Los Angeles. That is the example we will be using for today. And to note, in order to do an opt out for my life, you will need two items. You will need an email account that you preferably open for the purpose of doing these opt-out processes or you need i'm sorry and you need a copy of your driver's license that has been edited now we have videos on how to do your own opt-out uh, driver's license you want to block out your driver's license number your picture as well as your signature as well as the ghosted image of your photograph on there um, and so once you do that, you also want to have an email address. You want to pick an email that you can get access to at another point in time. An AOL, an AOL email is good for this purpose. Email on deck is uh, disposable immediately, so you may you know, not want to use that. But an AOL email works pretty good. So we do have videos on this. We're just going to do a quick uh, little AOL email account here for this purpose. Let's do a John Smith, and I'll just name him John Disneyland Plaza will be an email. Um, now, you don't have to use your real first or last name when you do these videos. Just remember um, a password you can remember. You know, write it down, you can get access to it later, um, as well as... Uh, just write down the email account itself so you can have access to it later as well. So writing that information down. Um, we do not want you to use your regular email address you use every day because these do get kind of spammy. So now it will ask you for a mobile phone confirmation number at some point. During the sign up process, you will need to enter your real phone number. We're going to enter one of our numbers that we use here. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, you can get a Google Voice number and use that as well. Um, and Google Voice does work with AOL email. So um, that's another layer of separation that you can use if you want. And so our access code for our email was just texted to us. That's going to be 373120. Now go ahead and write this email down. My email was John Disneyland Plaza. And just have fun with this. You can pick anything ridiculous you want. It can be Maggie Ferris Wheel. You know, it can be Bob Haunted House, whatever you want to use. So this is a difficult process. Might as well have a little bit of amusement while you can. So go ahead and click on that. Um, copy that. Click OK. You'll usually have to re-log back in to your AOL email. Yeah, sign out again, please wait. Go ahead and you know, sign back in again right there using your password. Sorry, my bad. There we go. And we are now logged into that email. So And we'll use this AOL email for more of our uh, work going forward here on these videos. But so, once again, going back to mylife.com, you'll see that you have a John W. Smith 93. 
if you click anywhere around here it won't really do anything you have to click on the orange view background profile bar click on that and you'll see this detailed highly detailed information page now it is popular belief that mylife.com does not allow you to opt out and in fact um, some sites like delete me and reputation flat out say you can't well you can um, and we do every day and we're going to tell you how to do that um, the exact process we do for our clients so once you go to this page click back in the address bar and you'll see the full URL the URL is this entire HTTPS backslash backslash etc string of letters and numbers you have okay keep that in mind put a pin in that we're going to come back to that in a second okay the first step is once you know you have a profile go to your email address compose a new email and the email you want to use is privacy at mylife.com the subject line you want to use is opt out request John W Smith or you know your name you know in your city and state and here's what you want to write you want to say something along the lines of this hello I am a victim of identity theft or you can say physical danger and threats or you can say of stalking all of those work they do not require you to have a police report with that but that verb needs to be in there I'm a victim of whatever you want to choose I demand my personally identifiable information PII personally identifiable information is a legal term now so you want to be specific including the below be fully removed opted out from your site and services and all of those you own because remember many of these companies have secondary and thirdly or fourthly if you want to say websites that you want to address so you want to say all of those you own my info is as follows and you want to say name John I don't know this person's last name but say Wendell Wendell Smith or whatever John W Smith you want to put in your date of birth now some people say this is confirming information keep in mind these companies already have your information to confirm this is the process you go through so no other creep people can find this information out okay so that's the real battle we want to argue against here so you might want to confirm your current address like 1234 Main Street or whatever, you know obviously whatever your address is the second point of important um, important and important for bits to include in this is going to be um, I demand that this be done within 30 days or I will follow up with legal action or a lawsuit or something along those lines and that's how you want to address that that's how you want to record that from that point going forward so the two main things before you hit send you want to go back to that mylife.com profile you want to copy that URL we mentioned earlier you want to put that in this email just right there is fine because that way there's no other way they can go about getting you know no other way around this you tell them the exact profile you want to remove from you'll then want to click on attachments and you'll want to attach your sample license to this email you will click send at that point now at this point your email will go to my life it will take about seven to ten days now you might get an email back from my life you will get an email back either way within about a day you might get an email back that says one of two things the first email says golly geez we're so sorry we deleted this record our bad it's gone 
Or it might say, oh, we don't have to do this, etc., etc. Very rarely, about 20% of the time, you get the email that says option B. If you get that, copy and paste your first email, resend it again. The second time works 99.9% .9 of the time on that. You'll also want to follow up in two to three months to make sure that there's been no repopulations. And you will want to go through the same process again if there are any repopulations. You will also want to check out our videos about Google Dead Links on YouTube because sometimes uh, these records will still stay on Google for a number of weeks um, until you opt out the record of the dead web page. So there's a multi-layered process involved to lean from my life. It is possible, it is achievable, we do it every day. And this is exactly how we do it for our clients here. So we encourage you to watch more videos, um, both uh, via our free opt-out resources page and our YouTube page. And please know that my life is covered by our basic premium and VIP resources uh, or services programs over here at Privacy Duck. And as a viewer of our YouTube videos, you do qualify to receive a 20% discount. Click on our discount programs page. There is information about a variety of discount programs we have for people in need, including a YouTube discount program, because we're sure many of you have followed along at home on your own time, opting yourself out of several of these sites. And we want to reflect that back for you. So that is our promo discount available for use for any of our services. And again, all of our services are good for you and one other person in your household. If you have any other questions, please do give us a call or send us an email at 415-320-1845, services at privacyduck.com. Please do like and share this video. And if you have any comments or questions, please do let us know in the uh, comments field. And we'll get back to those in just a little bit. So thank you for watching. Once again, this has been Will McAdam for Privacy Duck. We hope you have a great day and we look forward to working with you. Take care. Bye-bye.